Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This video is on the SA-15 Gauntlet in DCS World. That's a proper nasty little piece of work, let me tell you. Um, it's horrible. Okay, the SA-15 Gauntlet is a mobile SAM system, range of about 7.5 nautical miles and altitude of about 20,000 feet for its missiles. It consists of three parts. It's got the engagement radar, which max range is about 12 nautical miles, and it's acquisition radar, which has got a range of about 16 nautical miles in DCS. And of course, the nasty little missiles, eight of them, radio command guidance with RF proximity detonation to ruin your day. The radars, both the acquisition and the tracking, uh, are combined to be known as a scrum half, and they'll appear on your RWR as 15 and it is something you should worry about in DCS. Now, if you're carrying harms, the SA-15 can be destroyed at range if you fire multiple at it, because of course, being an SA-15, um, its missiles are designed to take down cruise missiles initially, um, so it's going to have no problem with your harms, so you need to fire a few harms at it to actually get the job done. However, if you're flying around low and slow in an A-10, you need to use the terrain to mask. But if you're in a plucky little F-5, like I always am when I do these SAM videos, uh, you can defeat the, uh, the SA-15. So I've just got my weapons ready here. I'm flying out towards it. It's somewhere off to my right, so I'm just going to put it on my nose as I start my turn here. Because I want to get close enough, again, dangerous, we have to get it to launch on us in the F5 because we don't have a targeting pod to see it. So it's gone out of its uh, tracking mode, it's now in its acquisition. So I'm going to click my little search button here in a second and we'll see that the radar is actually getting ready to fire at me. So adjusting my bombs, or sorry, my rockets, putting the reticle down to about uh, 40 odd. I'm still choosing what I want to do. I've still not clicked my search button to, there we go, he's in his tracking mode. So off to the right there, maybe somewhere near that smoke or the river bend, somewhere up ahead there. So we're still waiting on this little launch happening. So there he goes. I caught sight of it just at the edge of that green field. So I'm going to initiate a little turn and dive away. All right, look back over. There he is. Now that initial manoeuvre has to be almost instant against an SA-15 because the missiles can manoeuvre up to 30G and they fly at about Mach 2.8 so they're of course going to be much more uh, fast and more manoeuvrable than me and my F5. So now we're going to do the trick that we have against the SA-15 and you have to stay low. I don't mean just above the trees, I mean as low as you can possibly go underneath and in between the trees if you can. So we're still shaded behind this little hill, um, we're in the lee of the hill rather, not shaded behind the hill, <laughs> bright sunshine. So we're flying down uh, towards that known point, so he's off to my left somewhere. So I'm going to follow the river because I remember the bend in that river was somewhere near where that little white elephant's tail, or elephant's trunk rather, popped up. So I've popped a little high there, so I'm going to get back down, yep he's detected me so I'm going to roll over, get back in between the trees and follow the river. So the altimeter says 1300 feet, but of course that's, I'm not at sea level at the minute, or that's to sea level, of course I'm way above that. So we're flying along, follow the river, and then at the end of this bit here, we're going to cut up and look for it. So somewhere up there, if I remember, so I'm going to fly along, stay low, use the trees and the terrain for masking, even though we're pretty much in the open now. So we're beneath the trees, we're going to skim the top, then we're going to bank up a little bit. I'm not doing a full bank turn, so there's that green field that I saw him, so he's detected me, but I should be too close for him to fire at me, so I'm going to look in, right, he's slightly right, and then I'm going to dive towards him using my rockets, first one is going to be a little sighter to see where the rocket's going to land, that's way high, yep, he did launch, but I'm too close to worry about that, so we're just going to fly in, missile, 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 or rather rockets, 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 I'm going to fly along, don't know if I killed him, so we're going to stay low, we're going to switch back to guns, so which we don't crash into the ground. So master arm back to on. So you hear the sidewinder tone because we're going to air to air mode, but that's just so we can get our guns back and ready. We're pulling hard as right, staying fairly low. If he is launching at us, then we're going to be able to dodge that, hopefully with this hard bank turn and drop out chaff if we need to. So we're looking ahead, no launch, looking ahead, nothing on the RWR. So, not sure, you might be dead, he might not be. If not, we're going to go in for guns. Can't see any smoke there. 
So we'll just adjust the reticle a little second. Then we're going to go guns, guns, guns. And pull up and away. Have a look back over our shoulder. As we pull up, there we go. SA-15 destroyed. Now, of course, the tactics used against the SA-15, you've got to be low, you've got to be fast. You're going to be using chaff to try and spoof that uh, command guidance from uh, its radar cabin. Um, it is going to be risky. It is a very, very dangerous system. When you compare it to other things that are easily defeated, like an SA-2 or an SA-6, the SA-15 is much much more capable so it demands some respect from you and it demands a bit of bravery from getting low and in between those trees of course if you've got mavericks or harms by all means take the high ground and fire it from long range and never get shot at if you're in the f5 a harrier or an a10 you're gonna have to get crafty and get in between those hills that's pretty much it on the SA-15. Uh, like I said, it is dangerous. It's one of the uh, harder systems to defeat if you're in something uh, not quite as capable. Of course, um, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed so far. 8,000 plus and counting. You guys are awesome. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.